Do you love unforgiving platformer games, difficult enemies, boss fights, a long lost maze where you just get lost, you have no clue where to go, then I have the perfect game for you. Today we're going to play more Thorn for the Sega Dreamcast. Let's go. And just to prove that I'm playing this on the original Dreamcast, we have the console right here. So I have burned this game on a CDR because this is a Kickstarter project that has not been released yet. But they are fully funded to go. So we know this game is coming for the Sega Dreamcast. Also for the NES and most likely Steam as well. Now without further ado, let's hide the console camera and jump right into the action. So the controls are pretty simple. You press up, down, left, right to move. You attack with the X button on the Sega Dreamcast. This is a checkpoint where you can save or save. Basically, you, re you restore your health. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to take down the first boss and I'm going to show you the second boss. So this is just a quick playthrough. You can talk to the NPCs. Swinging your heavy arms up will produce a light wave of energy. <gasps> Swinging then twice will be more powerful, but will hold you in place. Whee! I, I always land on that ninja lizard. So what I'm doing is we're going straight for the first boss. Uh-oh. Goody, you guys got what you deserved. Ah! Go away! Don't touch me! Oh my god, he touched me. Up, 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 up. And I, yes, I lost a bit of health. That's the thing. There's, there's actually no checkpoints before the boss rooms. So you, you hear the music's very different. This is a boss room. And you can see how simple this game is. So the best way to play this is actually try not to get hit. Easier said than done. So my advice is study your platforms, remember how the room layout is, and then go up. Ah, but you can you can kiss my shiny metal beep. Anyway. And yes, I'm cheesing the boss. He doesn't like it when I cheese him. He gets very upset. Ah, oh, you son of a gun! That doesn't work. And this is how you cheese the boss. Booyah, he's dead! A door somewhere in the underground has opened. Okay, I can't move for some reason. Now I can. Well, let's go on. Let's just show that Ninja Turtle or Lizard or whatever he is, who's boss. Alright, I will show you where the second boss is. Since we defeated the first one, some things have been opened up. We can heal here. And trust me, I am very grateful that I checkpoints throughout the game. I 
And as I said, the music's pretty ace in this game. I like the music, I like how the world looks. Get away. And actually, you don't have to fight all the enemies. You can just choose to jump over like I just did here. Because sometimes, just running away is the better option. The game will sometimes not let you pass. <laughs> you shall not pass, it seems. Yes, this is actually not an easy game whatsoever. As I mentioned before. So this is, this is one of these games where you have to trial and error your way through until you finally are comfortable with a pattern you can implement. When I say pattern, this is how I basically remember how to play games. Checkpoints! And yeah, remember I said you, you can't have to try to not get hit by anything? Well, <laughs> that's the hard part, don't get hit. But the good news is, if you die by a boss and you have to start back from scratch, the game will remember that the boss is dead, so you don't have to redo it. Anyways, let's go in. Yay! Thank you so much for watching. I don't think we'll get this boss down. But if you like what you saw, let me know and I maybe we'll play the game some more for you. Until next time. See you in the next video. Bye! I have noticed a few glitches in the game. It's nothing game-breaking. It just looks funny sometimes. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. Ah! Ah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um... What? Um... Holy moly, what happened? Oh wow, this is... There you go, now I think the corruption has cleared up. That, that was interesting.